Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're all having a great Christmas day. Hope you all got lots of presents that you wanted. Not too many pairs of socks and underwear. Unless what you wanted was socks and underwear, in which case I hope you got lots of socks and underwear. But anyway, previews. Previews and sneak peeks. GW have given us a sneak peek to what's coming later on down the line, probably in 2021, or most, most certainly in 2021. And it's going to be a new box set. Piety and Pain. Zealous Bloodshed in the 41st Millennium. And this box set is going to be Sisters, or Adeptus Sororitas, versus the Jakari. More specifically, it looks like the Witches of the Dark City. And we're getting the full-on look at that brand new Lilith model. With, that model was teased a couple of months back. I think most people called it correctly when they saw like a, uh, like a lock of her hair with like a, a razor blade coming out of it. Or a, like a hook. You'll see it in the, in the actual picture in a bit, but... I think most people called it correctly that that was going to be Lilith. But yeah, we got um, got a brand new sister sculpt, which is the Palatine, which you can see there. But I think what most people are going to be buying this box set for is, what well, Jukari players anyway, is going to be the Witches, which I think have got a few new sculpts in there, I'm not sure. But Lilith definitely has a new sculpt, and there she is. And she looks like the champion of the arena in the Dark City, I think think that's where her law is right now. I am caught up on Jukari law in quite some time, but from what I can remember, she was like, she's so deadly, she could like, every inch of her is like, weaponized. Like her hair, for instance, she can like, slit people's throat by just like, waving her hair in a certain direction, which is, goes to like, great lengths to just explain how deadly she is in close combat. I think, I think a rule she's got like, well, back in when, Initiative was a thing. I think she had like a stupid high initiative, which means she'd always go first because she's that quick. I know she's got like a, she's meant to be quicker than the G-Stealer. I think she's got a better invulnerable save because she's got, I think G-Stealer's got lightning fast reflexes invulnerable save. I think she's got like a quick silver reflex invulnerable save, which means she's a lot faster than the G-Stealer. She could just dodge stuff, which is really interesting because on the front of this box art here, you can see Lilith going literally hand to hand, toe to toe with the, the I think guessing the Palatine. And I'm like thinking to myself, that Palatine's dead. And she's got probably, what, less than five seconds left to live before Lilith absolutely annihilates her. Because I don't care how much faith you have in the Emperor, she's still just a human. Whereas Lilith is like the master of the arena of the Dark City, probably jacked up on all the combat drugs and have hundreds of years worth of killing experience behind her. She's dead. Like, the amount of time she has left in the realm of the living can be counted on probably one hand in seconds. That's how dead she is. But I thought that was pretty funny when I saw that box art. But it looks like a great box. Like I say, I think this one's predominantly aimed at Takari players. Your codex is coming... I think your codex is coming next, I'm not sure. And I think this will time with that release. So yeah, brand new codex for Takari players. And brand new Lilith, and I think what look like brand new, brand new witches. I'm not sure. You have to, you probably plays in the chat. You have to let me know if that's right or wrong. Excuse me, still trying to tackle, ooh, Christmas dinner. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this box set? Do you not like this box set? Um, are you looking forward to it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until then, I will catch you all next time. See you later.